Hey guys, welcome to the video. Today we're going to be doing a review on the Bars Leaks Liquid Aluminum Cooling System Radiator and Heater Core Stop Leak. What a mouthful there. Well, before we get started, let's make sure that you're wearing the proper PPEs, okay? Nitrile gloves to protect your hands and eye goggles to protect your eyes. Okay, let's take a look under the car here. You can see a little bit of the, the leftover uh, where it was leaking out coolant. Uh, it was probably about four to five times that size, but it actually leaked out all of the coolant. Uh, so I had to refill the car with coolant, and then we're going to try this stop leak and see if it does what it says it does. So um, let me get the camera on the tripod, and then we will open this stuff up and see what it looks like as it goes into the um, coolant tank. All right, be right back. All right, guys, my car is cooled all the way down. I'm gonna remove the reservoir cap here. Do not do this while your car is hot. The hot fluid will explode everywhere and hurt you badly. Um, instructions on this, let's see what it says here. Um, allow engine to cool, make sure engine is cool enough so radiator cap can be safely removed. Okay, we've done that. Shake well, uh, directly into radiator. One bottle treats uh, systems up to four gallons. Use a half bottle in three and four cylinder engines. Um, this one's a six cylinder engine, so we're gonna use the whole thing. Um, let's go ahead and shake it up here. Okay. Um, we can't pour this directly into the radiator, so we're gonna put it into our uh, coolant reservoir there. Um, Fill radiator and overflow tank to proper, proper level and reinstall cap. And then drive idle engine for 15 to 20 minutes. If leak continues, sec second application may be required or mechanical attention is needed. For severe leaks like a blown head gasket, it's recommended to use bars, leaks, head gasket fix or blown head gasket repair. Um, and then leave the bars leaks liquid aluminum in the cooling system for continued protection okay let's open this stuff up here it's just like a metallic looking like you know it's like some, it reminds me of i don't even know like some type of it's thick though it's definitely thick and you can see all the metal flake stuff in there um it's sealed so let's get this open use my thumb there and it's super windy so I'm gonna I'm gonna try to pour this in without a funnel make sure you guys got a good view of that you do okay try to pour this in without a funnel but you could probably use a funnel if you didn't want to make a mess Um, I filled the coolant tank right before I poured this stuff in so the, the coolant hasn't had a chance to work itself through the system so um, I wasn't able to get the whole bottle in still a little bit left there so I'm going to work this stuff through the system let it cool down and then we'll come back and I'll add the rest okay uh, be right back all right, guys, we're a little bit later in the day here. Um, I let it run for like 15, 20 minutes just idling. Um, and then I took it on about a 45-minute drive. Uh, seemed to be doing fine. And I let it cool down for a few hours here. And now I just took the top off. And I want to show you guys what it looks like inside here. Hold on, I'm going to take the, the camera off the tripod here. All right, guys, I think this is the best view here. You can see inside there, it kind of turned into like a foamy, like gelatinous mixture. Um, so whatever it did, it mixed with the antifreeze, and now it's all kind of one, whatever that is. Um, it doesn't seem to be leaking for the moment, and it also, um, I didn't have any more room here to put in the rest of the bottle. So I got about three quarters of the bottle in here. And we're going to leave it like that unless it leaks over the next couple days. Uh, if it does, we'll go ahead and add the rest and, and, you know, let it idle again for another 15 or 20 minutes. But for now, it seems to be holding. So what we're going to do, we're going to come back here in a couple days and we're going to check underneath the car and we're going to see what, uh, if, if this stuff is leaking at all. So, all right, guys, we'll be back in a couple days. 
All right, guys, here we are a day and a half later and no leaks. So in my case, this stuff did exactly what it said it was going to do. I'm very impressed. Um, let's go take a look at the reservoir tank here really quick. So we can see that it's right where we left it. Um, the tank itself is kind of oxidized, but even if we look at the side here, you can see that it's filled up right to where it was yesterday. How long this stuff will last, I don't know. Even if I had to refill it every couple of months, in my opinion, it would be worth it. Um, you know, I don't know what was wrong with my car, but in this case, it, it did what it said it was gonna do. Well, thank you guys for watching. Please like, subscribe, and comment, and I do appreciate you guys. Thank you, and have a good one.